today's going to be a different kind of video today i want to talk about my experience trying to order an f-150 that's right a pickup truck my friends yeah today i want to talk about my uh my experience ordering an f-150 pickup truck through a dealer uh putting in a custom order as you all know, the market's so messed up right now. I'm kind of just putting this video out to uh, to get everybody's uh, to get people's feedback, you know, and to kind of see to just see what the prices were, what they are at, and uh, just get a conversation going because I've read some interesting stuff. So, so I saw a dealer had a. Uh, they had a deal going, I think it was the last day to put in a custom order from the factory. And they were offering about four or five grand in, uh, in discounts. So I was like, all right, well, you know, let's check out what they're, uh, you know, what they're kind of offering here and uh, let's put the order and let's see, what's, let's see what we can do. So I reached out to the dealer and uh, right off the bat, I just want to make sure, you know, I, I make sure I don't owe him any money. I don't owe him a deposit because uh, the first thing I asked him was, can you give me an out-the-door price? And they said, not until we get the car on our lot. And I was like, okay, you know, that sounds kind of risky on my part. What if they get the car on the lot and they quote me 60 grand on a 50 grand pickup truck? And, uh, you know, I'm stuck, like, giving them my deposit because I have to back out. So they say, you don't have to pay us any deposit or anything. So I'm like, all right, perfect. You know, there's uh, there's no loss on my end. So I'll put the order in. Uh, I customized my truck. I sent it in. And after about four months, uh, I get a call from the dealer and they say, hey, man, your truck has arrived. Why don't you come on in and let's get you in this truck. And I'm like, uh, hold up a second. Let me get the out the door price. You guys still have not sent me that. Keep in mind this dealer is in Houston, Texas. I'm in Austin, Texas, so about two, two and a half hours away. I'm not driving two and a half hours without any numbers. So, the guy's like, all right, let me get my sales manager and he'll send you the, the out the door price. Uh, they send me the out the door numbers and right off the bat, I see that they didn't include my discounts. And the guy calls me and he's like, you know, what's the deal, what's going on? You coming to get your truck or what? I'm like, no, nah, man, you guys have not taken in my discounts. Like, you guys said I was going to get, like, five grand off in discounts. And you guys have not even shown that on the out-the-door price you gave me. He's like, all right, let me, let me call you back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask around. The dude never calls me back. I wait another day. He doesn't call me back. I send them an email. And I'm like, yo, what's, you know, what's going on? You guys owe me, you know, uh, a discount on that out-the-door price they'll send me. So some lady responds and she's like, you know, I looked at the price, it's right. <clears throat> and I'm like, what? That is, this is so shady, dude. Coincidentally, this same lady that had responded to me uh, was in contact with me in the beginning of the process. So I had an email from her that said, you will be getting five grand off of the price. Like in her words. So I, I literally forwarded her that email and I'm like, look, this is proof that you guys were supposed to give me five grand off in discounts. A couple days go by, no response. I have to call them and uh, they finally send me updated numbers. I'm gonna put those numbers on the screen here for y'all to see, okay? I'm actually gonna put the before numbers, before the discount and the after the discount numbers, okay? Now in these numbers, you can also see that they threw in a three grand fee. I forget what it was called, like a cut, like a vehicle protection package fee or something like that. <laughs> and $3,000, guys. And I never asked for this protection package. I don't know what it was. They never asked me if I wanted it. I didn't want it. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is just one big price gouge. You give me five grand off of discounts, only to add in a three grand fee. So they send me the updated price with the discount 
And again, they're like, yo, you coming to get your truck or what? What's going on? And I tell them again, I'm like, dude, what is this fee? Like, what are you guys doing? Just give me a normal price, man. Stop playing games. And so he's like, all right, let me, let me get my sales manager again. And so uh, I'm speaking to the sales manager on the phone. And this guy is the sleaziest, dirtiest, shadiest snake. That's the best way to put it, is he's such a snake. He's like, he's basically saying, you know what, you're screwed, man. You're paying that three grand fee, whether you like it or not. If you don't want to pay it, whatever, it's no loss on us. I'm going to turn around and sell this truck regardless. So you take the price gouge or you F off. That's basically what he was telling me. Oh, man. That was like... Just, just right then, I was like, I'm, not, I'm never doing business with these people. And I'm going to expose this dealership too. I'm going to put their name up so y'all know who they are. I, I hope y'all don't do any business with these guys either, man. And I, I looked at their page and their reviews, and you know, it seems like a couple of people have like dealt with the same kind of crap. And, um, you know, what can you do, you know? It's, it's just the way it is. And he's basically saying, listen, you know, that's the markup we have to put on all our vehicles. The market's messed up right now. We have to keep our doors open, so we have to put that fee on there. You know? But he's saying it in such a sleaze bag way. He's basically like kind of telling me off, like, you know, pay the three grand free or stop wasting my time. Get the hell out of here. There's no like sympathy in his in his tone, none of that. Basically, I was like an expendable customer to him. And uh, yeah. So, you know, these people are price gouging, all right? So, overall, for the market, you're gonna see that that's actually not a bad price. If you guys know anything about my channel, I'm talking about my channel like I got a million viewers or a million subscribers or something, but basically what I'm about is trying to get a good, fair deal, right? I'm not trying to pay any crazy amount of money for, for any product. So, I passed on the truck. I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. So I read, I also read something interesting, which is why I kind of wanted to make this video. I'm on a few uh, Reddits uh, on F-150s. Reddit's cool because I get to ask people, you know, how much did you pay for your F-150? You know, what was your out the door price, blah, blah, blah. And I've been seeing a lot of people saying like, hey, this market's messed up, which we all know it is. And they're also saying like, hey, I bought my, I bought my F-150 back in like 2018, 2019, brand new. And the dealers were giving me like seven, eight, nine grand off of uh, MSRP. Like that was just the norm back then, it sounds like. Now, is this the case or are these people bull, like BSing? This is what I want people to comment. If you have had experience buying an F-150, brand new from the dealer, 2019 and before, so 2018, 2017. Did you get good deals on your on your uh, on your truck? Did you really get seven, eight grand off MSRP? Did you get fair price? What was your pricing like? That's what I'm trying to find out. The way I see it, the market's messed up right now. It'll eventually fix itself. I'm in no rush to buy a truck. But the main thing that pissed me off about that dealer was, you know, what if, what if that truck was crucial to my business, you know? And I was like banking on getting that truck. And, you know, it was like a time sensitive thing. And at the last minute, you know, they're screwing me with the pricing and all that and, and saying, oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, yeah, you're paying this three grand markup. And if you don't like it, whatever, your business is going to suffer. So it's on you. So what the heck was that? But, but yeah, guys, um, like I said, let me know, you know, if you've had experience buying a brand new pickup truck back in the day before, you know, COVID and all, the whole market got crazy and the supply chain issues and whatnot, and before these dealers started really price gouging, you know, did you really get those kind of discounts like, like that I read about? A lot of people on Reddit were saying, you know, I got seven, eight grand off MSRP. Uh, was that your experience? If so, let me know. Because uh, I'm very interested in buying buying a truck I'm you know I'm in no rush I'm not gonna pay any markup I refuse to pay markup 
I'm just looking for a fair deal, my friend. Um, so if someone is paying 43 grand for the truck that you know the dealer is offering me 53 grand for, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wait and pay 43 grand in the future once the market kind of settles down. Speaking of the market, I'm actually reading a lot about how this used market is slowly starting to uh, calm down. Uh, used market, or sorry, used car prices were just ridiculous, and uh, I've been hearing a lot of stories about repos and everything, and gas prices going up, people having to get rid of their trucks, and um, just a, a lot of different variables, and it, along with inflation. Um, so I mean, let's see what happens. Who knows, you know? Um, but all I know is this, this market right now is just really jacked up, and again, I'm not trying to pay, I'm not trying to pay more for something, ever.